Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video on how to solo queue in Battlefield 5. Today's map on the agenda is Rotterdam. Now this is for the people who want to solo queue but still help out their squad mates. You know, they don't really want to do the lone wolf strategy, which sucks anyways in Battlefield 5. Don't do it. Solo queue is much better than lone wolf. You know, deal with the squad mates, it's fine. So today we're going to talk about Rotterdam. Now I have a very, very, very specific strategy that I use on the Rotterdam map if I'm solo, or even if I'm playing with my friend Austin, I will still, like, I love this strategy. I don't know why, it just is the way that I figured it out on Rotterdam. So, you're gonna be using support, okay, and you're gonna carry the AT grenade pistol because it's cool. That and I, the tanks on this map die easy. Like, don't, tanks on Rotterdam kinda suck, so, you know, you're not gonna have to worry about Tanks. So carry the AT pistol in case you need to blow up something, basically. Then you're going to need to blow up things on this map, trust me. You're going to carry an automatic weapon. One that does not need to be mounted. So an FG-42 or a Lewis gun or even a Bren would work great. You can use a shotgun if you know how to use the shotgun correctly. Um, I'd say put slugs on it if you're going to use the shotgun. And just use it that way. So either way, a slug shotgun or an automatic weapon. Now my strategy is I capture my spawn side, I capture C, and I capture the enemy spawn side. So we'll go through this really simply with the British. So you're on the British side. You go A, B, C, D, E. You legit just do the alphabet, okay? So you capture A and B, that way you have your spawn side secure, then you capture C, then you use C, what I do is I spawn at C, and I'll kill people that are going to C, run all around, and then up to D. Because then, that little area in between B and D is like no man's land. It's a death zone, unless you have like a crap ton of medics that smoke it out. I feel like that zone is either empty or a death zone. For me, most of the time, it's a death zone. So what you do is you get that lockdown in between B and D. You know, the bridge, there's people that'll camp on the bridge. When you're running around, you know, you have that opportunity at C to climb up the bridge, or A. You know, you can do that. Or even E if you're the Germans. Or you just are really good and have everything. So, um, what you do is you just do the alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, or E, D, C, B, A. And you capture, you know, if you can get the four objectives. So, like, if you're England again, you got A, C, B, and D. You're set. And that's really what my strategy is. And it kind of helps because once you have, like, let's say you're British and you have A, C, and D, and they have B. Well, you have a lot of options to sacrifice D and capture B back so no one gets flanked, and then you still have C under your control, and you can kind of use that as an outpost to do attacks. I, on this map, C is like my baby. I love C as an objective. I wanted to stay an objective. And I also want B and D to be my objectives. If I had it my way, and you know you only had to pick three objectives, it would either be the triangle of A, B, C, if you're British, or B, D, C. One of those two. Actually, I'd say B, D, C, because then you got flank options. So that's really it, guys. I um, hope you enjoyed. This was a quickie video. You know, there's not a lot to this strategy. You just do the alphabet either forward if you're British or backward if you're German. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. What are your strategies to solo queue on this map? I'd love to know that. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I'll see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, or Instagram post of whatever I decide to make.